My name is Nama Chandra. I'm a distinguished professor of biomedical engineering at New Jersey Institute of Technology. I'm also the director for Center for Injury Biomechanics, Materials and Medicine. Our focus of the research work is on traumatic brain injury. There are two types of injury. One is blunt and the other is blast. In the blunt injury, the head comes into contact with another body. Blast injury involves high velocity shock wave that accompanies an explosion that penetrates the skull and induces the brain. In the blunt, it is a physical contact. In the blast, it is acoustic contact through shock waves. Traumatic brain injury is one of the debilitating problems for US military. I have been working with US Army for the last 30 years. I was working on the helmets, body armors, vehicle designs, and when it came that the soldiers were coming back with blast-induced traumatic brain injury, that's what I wanted to get into. Our research effort has covered different aspects of the problem. In the physical simulations, we built critical shock tubes that was capable of generating the actual shock that occurs in the field. Our innovation in the shock tube is we've made an actual blast measurements and use that information to develop blast tubes. It faithfully reproduces what happens in the field. Since we could actually produce a shock wave, we could test new helmets, new body armors. We can simulate the condition that would occur in the field. So both the manufacturers as well as DOD will be confident in using them in the field. Based on our research and the research of many other people, the helmets today and the personal protective system today is far better in combating TBI than 10, 15 years back. TBI is also a significant problem in sports, especially professional sports. Anytime your brain gets involved in an accident, for example, in a car or when you fall down, you are involving one of the most precious objects of your body, and that's the brain. Brain is a very complex organ. The number of connections exceeds the number of stars in the entire universe. The number of miles of blood vessels is much more than 100,000 miles. The most cutting edge aspect of our research has been to link the blast to injury and then injury to your diagnostics and possible therapeutics. Our center is very unique in that we not only simulate physically the conditions of injury, but also use animal models to diagnose them, use biochemical means to assay them, look at the mechanisms using imaging as well as biochemistry. Then we also look at the behavioral aspect of it. For example, in terms of sleep deprivations, motor skills, other neurological effects, we actually have tools to evaluate them. We have a comprehensive way of approaching the problems, all the way from biomechanics, biochemistry, and behavior. Our innovation is also in trying to use nanotechnology-based methods in developing drugs that can be applied for traumatic brain injury. For example, there is a drug existing for Parkinson. Can we use that drug to treat TBI? There is a drug existing for memory problem. Can we use the drug to use it for TBI? Our approach has shown good promise, but is still a long way to go before it comes to the market. <music>